Well, this is a feel good story for your Friday. For more than five years, 14 year old Raven superfan Mo Gabba has been one of the most beloved people in Baltimore. You know that very I well. I love him myself. He used to call into the local sports talk radio show. His inspirational story has touched the hearts of people everywhere. And WJZ is live. Max McGee says there is a new honor for Mo Gabba. Hey, Max. How you doing, Ricky Denise? Yeah, Gabba has been battling aggressive cancer his entire life. His spirit has really charmed everyone. And after what happened today, you might just want to salute him. In a town known for its charm and everlasting grit, there's a teenager who captures both, as well as the heart of the city. Baltimore knows him as Mo Gabba, a 14-year-old from Glen Burnie and Raven's superfan who's blind battling cancer. And to welcome him to the Baltimore Police Department, is an honorary lieutenant. Well, I'm afraid I misspoke. Make that Lieutenant Mo Gabba. Using the Mo Strong, you know, model as what we want to be, not only personally, but professionally in this agency. So it was an honor for us at the Baltimore Police Department to honor him on this special day with this kind of acknowledgement. WJZ was at Gabba's house in June for his middle school graduation where dozens showed up to congratulate him. Friday, the Northern District Police Department made him honorary lieutenant to show their support for him too. 99-10-18. Moe's buddy and radio show host Jeremy Kahn from 1057 The Fan was there to support too. With all due respect, I got two kids, I got a wife, I got a family, and they understand I put him first on my plate um, just to make sure I get a chance to see him. Sadly, Moe's cancer has come back for the fourth time, spreading to his lungs and brain, but it's not stopping him or his family from fighting, something they've been doing since he was nine months old. Last spring, he became the first person to announce an NFL draft pick while reading it in Braille. With the 123rd pick. He's not slowing down. Inspirational fighters never back down. And for the city, this district, don't expect him to either. After all, Gabba is the heart of the city. All right, back live now. Last week, Gabba co-hosted a show on WJZ's 105.7 The Fan. In just three days, the station generated over $45,000 in donations. We're live at 5.30 tonight. Max McGee, WJZ.